the latest, Novak Djokovic is out of the Australian Open. Defending champion Novak Djokovic is out of the Australian Open, beaten 7-6, 8-5-7, 2-6, 7-6, 5-6-4 6-4 by wildcard entry Dennis Istomin in a second round match on Thursday. Melbourne, Australia, AP, the latest from the Australian Open on Thursday, all times local. 7.15 p.m. Defending champion Novak Djokovic is out of the Australian Open, beaten 7-6, 8-5-7, 2-6, 7-6, 5, 6-4 by wildcard entry Dennis Istomin in a second round match on Thursday. Istomin made the vital break in the fifth game of the deciding set, then held service the rest of the way in the marathon 4-hour, 48-minute match on Rod Laver Arena. The match featured a little bit of everything. In a 15-minute opening game, the six-time champion Djokovic saved six break points. In the second set, he appeared to hyperextend his left leg in the third game, and spent much of the following break stretching it over a chair. In the tenth game of that set, Djokovic saved two sets points after serving a double fault. But Djokovic broke in the following game to lead 6-5, then held his service with four consecutive points to take the set. Djokovic clinched the third set when he successfully challenged a line call. Istomin had a set point in the tenth game of the fourth set, then went ahead 5-1 in the tiebreaker before slamming down an ace to send it to a fifth set decider. 6.45 p.m. Novak Djokovic and Denis Istomin are going to five sets in their second round match at the Australian Open. Istomin won the first set 6 to 7, 8. Djokovic came back to win the next two sets 7 to 5, 6 to 2, and Istomin sent it to a decider with an ace for a 7 to 6, 5 win in the fourth set. The match, which is 4 hours, 12 minutes, and counting, has featured a little bit of everything. In a 15 minute opening game, the six-time Australian Open champion Djokovic saved six break points. In the second set, he appeared to hyperextend his left leg in the third game, and spent much of the following break stretching it over a chair. In the tenth game of that set, Djokovic saved two sets points after serving a double fault. But Djokovic broke in the following game to lead 6-5, then held his service with four consecutive points to take the set. Djokovic clinched the third set when he successfully challenged a line call. Istomin had a set point in the tenth game of the fourth set, then went ahead 5-1 in the tiebreaker before slamming down an ace to send it to a fifth set decider. 5.55 p.m. Sixth-seeded Gail Monfils has advanced to the third round of the Australian Open with a 6-3, 6-4, 1-6, 6-0 win over Alexander Dolgopolov. Monfils, playing in his twelfth Australian Open, had his best result here last year when he made it to the quarterfinals before losing to Milos Raonic in four sets. The 30-year-old Monfils reached the U.S. Open semifinals last September, equaling his best run at a Grand Slam tournament, and hit a career-high number six ranking in November. I still love it, that's why I play the game, he said. He will next play Philip Cole Schreiber, who beat Donald Young of the United States 7-5, 6-3, 6-0 earlier Thursday. 4.45 p.m. Third-seeded Milos Raonic maintained his record of reaching the third round all seven years he has contested the Australian Open, saving a set point in the third before beating Jill Muller 6-3, 6-4, 7-6, 4. Raonic clinched the win on his second match point when Muller returned a shot wide. Muller, who won last week's Sydney International for his first career tournament victory, officially had a 2-0 record against the Canadian. But Raonic retired from a match against him at Wimbledon in 2011 due to a hip injury, and Muller beat him at Valencia, Spain in 2012 in two close sets. The win advanced Raonic to a third round match against Jill Simon, who beat Rodrigo Dutra Silva in straight sets. 3.30 p.m. Teenager Naomi Osaka is gaining attention not only for her big hitting game, but also her quirky sense of humor. After losing to ninth seeded Johanna Conta in the second round on Thursday, Osaka paid the British player a compliment for her big serve, as well as her use of big words. I heard her talk, and she sounds really intelligent, said the 19-year-old Japanese player, who was raised mostly in the US. She uses big words in her accent, and it sounds really smart. Kanta had a laugh when told about Osaka's comment and was at a loss for words, either big or small. I think, well, I haven't really analyzed my own speech, the Sydney-born Kanta said with more laughter. I need to chat more with Naomi. 2.05 p.m. 
Former No. 1 ranked Caroline Wojniacki has advanced to the third round at the Australian Open for the first time in three years with a 6-1, 6-3 win over Donna Vikic at Rod Laver Arena. Wojniacki, who reached the semifinals here in 2011, lost in the second round in 2015 and in the first round last year. A semifinalist at the U.S. Open last September, Wojniacki's next opponent will be a tough one, Johanna Conta, who made it to the semifinals last year before losing to eventual champion Angelique Kerber, and who improved her ranking in 2016 to 10 from 48. 1.30 p.m. Andy Murray was back on the practice court at Melbourne Park on Thursday afternoon, his ankle apparently not troubling him after a frightening tumble in Rod Laver Arena the night before. The top-seeded Murray's right shoe caught on the surface of the court during his second round match against Andrei Rublev and he rolled awkwardly to the ground in pain. He finished the match in obvious discomfort, limping at times and stopping occasionally to stretch. Some 14 hours after the incident, Murray hit the practice court in front of hundreds of fans for a workout, allaying concerns the ankle was seriously injured. Murray is scheduled to play his third round match against no 31 seeded Sam Quarry on Friday. 12.25 p.m. Johanna Conta is through to the third round of the Australian Open after a 6-4. 6-2 win over Naomi Osaka to open play at Rod Laver Arena. Conta, who advanced to the semifinals on debut here last year before losing to eventual champion Angelique Kerber, will next play either 17th-seeded Caroline Wojniacki or Donna Vikic. Conta clinched the match on her third match point during an extended rally between the players that ended with Conta hitting the ball deep to the open court. The 25-year-old Conta was named the WTA Tour's most improved player of 2016 after moving to 10th from 48th in the rankings last year. 12.10 p.m. The opening match on Margaret Court Arena could possibly be the fastest and most lopsided all day. U.S. Open finalist Carolina Pliskova's 6-0, 6-2 win over Anna Blinkova in 59 minutes. Pliskova, who lost to Angelique Kerber in the U.S. Open final last September, overwhelmed the 18-year-old Blinkova, a Russian qualifier ranked 189th who had beaten veteran Monika Nikulescu in the first round. When Blinkova won her first game after Pliskova had won 10 in a row she smiled and raised her left arm to acknowledge the cheers from the crowd. The fifth-seeded Pliskova advanced to the third round for the third consecutive year. 10.55 a.m. Johanna Conta, who made a spirited run to the semifinals at last year's Australian Open, will attempt to advance to the third round when she kicks off day four action at Rod Laver Arena on Thursday. Kanta plays Naomi Osaka of Japan in what should be perfect weather conditions at Melbourne Park sunny skies, a light breeze and a late morning temperature of 19 degrees Celsius, 66 Fahrenheit. Six-time champions Novak Djokovic and Serena Williams had matches later in the day on Rod Laver. Djokovic was playing Denis Istomin in the last afternoon match and Williams was against Lucy Safarova to open the evening program. Rafael Nadal, Milos Raonic, and Agneska Radwanska also aimed to book their spots in the third round.